kind of curious about this. And it makes sense. The 144,000 is chosen ones. They understand the hidden motives of others. So if you think that you're tricking someone, you think you're lying to them, or you think that you're getting away with something, these people are not fools. They're very intelligent and knows everything. <laughs> that's that's where I think it's kind of funny that a lot of people don't know how to act when people talk about getting messages, getting downloads, or knows hidden about you. That that's pretty much saying that you're you're around a divine being a god's child they understand the hidden motives of others knows everything because they get messages they get it in dreams intuition they just know knowing knows what is what is being done in the dark They know what people are saying because it's telepathy too. That they know that the hidden emotives is that these people think that they're getting away with everything. No, they're not. Because they can hear people telepathy, plant planning, hearing messages, meaning that somebody could be talking about you in a worse way. That's a message as well. You see it in your dreams, your intuition. That's why it always says they trust their intuition and they're usually right. And you just know everything, what is going on. That pretty much that these people are awakened to understand or is awake fighting the evil off to bring... Peace, love, caring, compassion, understanding. It is different from others. So it's also another thing that these chosen ones are fighting battles that nobody understands about. It is, it is not the norm. Somebody who is not chosen, somebody who is not understanding spiritual attacks, don't understand spirituality... That don't understand how you get things. They don't get it that we are God's soldiers. Fighting off the evil to bring peace, love, care, compassion, understanding. And is different than others. That pretty much God's with the light. That scares off demons. So anytime, if you, because I've noticed this a few couple of times in my life. Now, I don't know if it's just me. But have you ever walked into a room and there were some people that were dark, like demons-like. And then all of a sudden, you walk in a room, it's like all eyes on you. That's probably what a chosen one means. And I think it's kind of odd. But what I'm getting to is that. You scare off these demons' darkness. Your light, you're a warrior of God. You're God's warriors. You're his warriors. All types of abilities. Meaning, it could be a spirituality. It could mean seeing clairvoyant. It does not matter. Whatever God gave you that ability to know things. It could be a palm reader. It does not matter. You irritate the demons' souls where you make the demons feel uncomfortable around you. They're terrified of you and they're scared to come up to you. And I've been told that in my life that there's people terrified of me because of my energy. Now I'm starting to understand what it's explaining about the chosen ones because I've been watching a lot of different people.
That you irritate their demons. You irritate them so bad that they know that they're getting caught by everything. Who gods? Yeah, pretty much people that are gods, warriors, soldiers go through the most pain than others. And that's what a lot of people don't understand is that the chosen ones go through the most pain. So other people are nothing going through, not as much. And sometimes they can get this confused too. And um, then others has a very strong strength with them in intimidating energy. Now, I literally thought people were just screwing with me, okay? I literally thought people were just playing around. There were times that there were people that, you know, was wanting to talk to me, but they ignored me. So I respected it of them not coming near me. And then after a while, I get told, well, these people like you, but they're, they're nervous by you. So that would explain it. But I also respected that people should have never done that to me. Because since you gave me the impression that you had nothing to do with me, you didn't want to talk to me, you gave me the impression that you didn't like me, so I respected it of whatever you pretty much gave the energy to me about. And that's why it explains that people that are the chosen ones have intimidating energy of knowing they... Yeah, knowing they, God and angels, are taking care of the trouble times, this too shall pass. So, technically, there's people who are doing things to the chosen ones, putting them in pain. And it's kind of funny that people are not awake to understand that... The chosen ones are not weak. We are not stupid. We know exactly what you're doing. We're just wanting to see how far you will go to think you are fooling. You know, you're trying to play a fool, have to play a fool to be a fool. Yeah, that's pretty funny, in my opinion. I know, that was like a mouthful. Probably won't be able to repeat that shit again. But, yeah, that's what it is. And you want to try to bring peace and love and care, compassion, and understanding into the world. And there's others that are trying to bring nothing but dark and demons. That's why you irritate them. At that too. You irritate their demons so bad. To where you're, you're of light. The chosen ones are bright lighted. They are. And that's why the demons can't can't stand you. So, like I said, it was so weird. Like, every everywhere I went, there was always eyes locked on me. And I couldn't figure that out. I was thinking to myself, okay, did I do something? Or, um, is there something on my face? Did I gain weight? Did I lose weight? You know what I mean? As a normal, as a normal thinking, you would think... Okay, did I lose weight? Is there something on my jeans? Did I, is there like an eye booger on me? You know what I mean? It's kind of like you, you would never think that until you get old enough to understand that it's your light. People knows that you're a very good person, a very good hearted person, that they probably knew who you was. They probably knew that you were a chosen one. And a lot of people kind of get irritated, which it's understandable, because you won't know until you get old enough to understand. So then once you understand and look it up and understand it more, you will know if you are a chosen one. And that's what people are trying to mean by is that you will know from the experience of what they're saying. A lot of people are not paying attention to it. 
that if they're explaining and you if they said something almost to a T they're trying to give you a hint that you are a chosen one now if you listen to it and you go well I've never experienced this then you're not a chosen one if none of it you understand of it or have never experienced then you're not the chosen one this is for the people who who is curious to know and it's normal but it's it's okay to confirm it to ask hey look I don't I don't know if I'm a chosen one or not it's always better well I think it's better to be asking than just assuming so you don't you know look funny or give off any weird energy but I've watched I don't know so weird that uh, I don't know where it came from it just popped out of nowhere on my YouTube channel that it was this number in the chosen ones and I'm sitting there thinking what so it didn't just pop up on my um, YouTube on purpose not everybody sees it not everybody sees the chosen one channel all the time so then as I'm watching about the chosen ones there was more popping up out of nowhere and I'm thinking okay I'm listening to them and they said most of us go through the most pain than others we get treated like shit by people and you don't mind being alone you're okay with being alone and that's also a chosen one that you don't mind being alone you can be happy by yourself so, like I said, I keep watching, I keep watching, I keep watching. And certain things they said was almost stuff that I've experienced or been questioning myself. Now that I'm paying attention to what they're saying, it's like, it's like a snap of, oh my goodness gracious. People are secretly trying to help others to know if they're the chosen one, if you really pay attention. God is seeing if you're going to wake up to this. Each person talks about the chosen ones. You have to really pay attention and not just go off with your minds. No, you have to really listen to pay attention to how they're trying to explain it to you. So the intimidating part. And then people trying to be nicey-nicey. It's because they're wanting your energy. And then once you cut them off, they get shitty. It's like stuff like that. Like you really have to pay attention to what these people are talking about the chosen ones. And the chosen ones is God's children. These are the people that are fighting to want to bring peace and bring the demons back down to hell. And the 144,000 are going to be the ones who go to heaven. Now, I don't know. I have a hard time believing that. I don't know. Because there's so many different beliefs. I believe if you're good, you do good, you try your best... You're going to go to heaven. I don't I don't get all this weird stuff about only the cho no, I sure no. Like I have I have a hard time understanding that. <clears throat> Why others would say that. It just depends on your personality and how you are. God knows inside you what you were going to do on this earth. He, if he knows you were going to be gifted, he knew what you were going to do. Or knew. Because he written, he written everybody's book down. It's written in your book the day that you were born. He said, okay, this one's a chosen one. Let's see if this person can be redeemed. You know, it's like all different types. Or to see if people can wake up to this. And I just I just think it's kind of odd. 
that I really do pay attention. I do, which it's, well, before I didn't as much. Now, I have. And each time I've watched, well, the first time I watched The Chosen One, I said, so what is this? I go, what do you mean Chosen One? I go, I gotta hear this. And then now it makes more sense because you really have to listen and not keep asking. I mean, it's okay to ask instead of assuming. There's nothing wrong with that. But if these people talk about the chosen ones, you really have to pay attention on what they say. People cannot screw with the divine being. They cannot hurt you. If they do, they're going to get karma. Because God's children are protected. Not everybody is favored and not everybody is chosen. So, you know, I was thinking, okay, I'm going to watch this. So I started watching more and more and more. More. I was listening to it very carefully. Now I'm like, oh my goodness gracious. This is why this popped up on my YouTube. Ever first time seeing it. I like I've I've scrolled through my YouTube. I've never seen the chosen ones until I don't know. I've done some stuff about talking about I had some help to look up a uh, book of revelation about the world coming to an end i had some help to look up five through up yeah and it's kind of weird that only god would give you that answer would give you a privilege to give that out to the world and that's what chosen ones need to be listening to if you hear your spiritual guides you hear God, you hear people telepathy, you can actually know the difference if it's God or if it's somebody else. If you really pay attention. And I think I think it's kind of odd that God is putting this out here for a reason to let people know if you think you are one or you're curious, you need to listen carefully. To what they're saying of what you've experienced yourself. That's how you're going to know you're a chosen one. And I watch. Um, what's his name? Trey and Genius. A lot. That's the first one I believe I watched as a chosen one. So I was really shocked and blown away by what he said. About all enemies are going to get their due. They can no longer get away with hurting the chosen one. So I started watching more and more. And paid attention and heard what he said. And I'm like, okay. Okay. So then I, I subscribed to him. Because he started to explain more and more and more. And this is how God is waking people up to know if they are... If they are a chosen one or if they're not. You have to really pay attention. And your messages are going to be accurate. Your message is going to be accurate. It's, it's, it's not going to be a waste. And there's going to be people out here that don't like the chosen ones. Because we know the secrets, we know the hidden, we know the secrets of the unknown, the hidden. We understand the unknown as well. If people think that you're pulling our chain and thinks that you're trying to get away with some, or if you're treating us like shit, we let you do it. Because we know what you're doing. We we just kind of want to know how stupid you're going to keep going. Of thinking that you're fooling somebody who already knows your motives. That's what it is. We want to see how long you're going to lie to us. That we already know. See if you're going to speak the truth or not. And that's what it pretty much is. You know everything... You know, 
And that's why people get mad because I get caught of lying. And from some serious stuff that the tarot comes in the mix. That's also a gift from God too. Because think about it. Who, who knows all and sees all? The dead. The universe. The ancestors. God. They can know all and see all too. And he uses, that's how last time I explained it, but I don't like to use that word. He pretty much talks to his 144,000 chosen ones. He talks to us to get a message throughout YouTube. And a lot of people don't believe it. There's a lot of naysayers saying, oh, you're crazy. Well, guess what? Then, how is it that we know what you're doing, that you're on fuck shit? How, then, how do we know the truth and you want to flip out and lose your fucking shit? Explain that to me. People that are chosen ones do have different abilities. Like I said, it doesn't all have to be the same. You can be clairvoyant, can see the future. You can be psychic. You can sense by the smell, taste, your surroundings, uh, the seeing eye, your third eye. Let me see. Palm reading. You touch an object, you're going to know. You can sense the dead around you. That's a chosen one. And a lot of people don't understand that the chosen ones are trying to do what's right. Of trying to protect to get the evil out of the world. And a lot of people won't know that. But other chosen ones are going to understand where I'm getting at. Not everybody's going to understand it. Not everybody's going to understand. Understand. That it's nothing but God's doing of trying to make it a peaceful world. And then you got karmics. You got narcs. Pretty much. That is bringing nothing but the demons into the world. Sometimes you gotta compel them bitches. To burn them. To get them to wake up. And it's their choice. Either they want to wake up or not. And I really don't think the Chosen One has to use a weapon. I really don't believe in that. It's just the faith that they have in their ancestor. I really truthfully don't believe it. That there's weapons that they use. The only thing is that they use their intuition and they just know without having proof. And that's also what's funny too. Is that chosen ones can also know things and don't got to have fucking proof. Because they already knew it. They know it. They can feel it. That they're right. And you cannot change their minds. And then that's when people turn around and go, oh my god. He was right. How did he know that? Or she. How'd she know? She. She didn't see that. How'd she know that? That's called predicting the future. That's called knowing proof without Knowing stuff without proof. Because you can see it, you can feel it, you can sense it. It's energy. You, you just know. And you're right. But, like I said, this is pretty much my opinion about the Chosen Ones. They're just trying to do what's right. And a lot of people are not going to like it. But, you know what? That's their issue. And I'm going to repeat this again. If you are wondering. If you are a chosen one. Pay very close attention. To what these people are trying. To subscribe to you. Of. If they go. Well did you ever have this happen to you? Like for me. I had. Like, I watched that channel. And he was explaining. 
that have you ever had blah blah whatever you really need to pay close attention to that because that's how you're going to know but this is just my opinion they're trying to do the right thing and the chosen ones are going to be taking the evil out of the world that's just all it is nothing negative and that's how the chosen ones whenever they step into a room they take out the devil they take out the evil because light always beats you know the the dark don't like the light so light always beats the dark but i'm gonna go ahead and get off of here i'm not gonna make this long but hopefully this was helpful but this is my opinion on what i believe what is the chosen ones have a good day